Hello, welcome to today's show of Phenomena. On today's discussion, we'll be discussing how did the pyramids actually get here, who made them, for what reason, and what on earth are the sculptures that are uh, hieroglyphics. put on pyroglyphics, uh, where they're depicting half men, half lizard, um, half lizard, half men, uh, aliens in um, crash helmets, uh, which is incredible, and all of their pyramids are aimed up at particular stars. Uh, Tutankhamun, when he was discovered, was radioactive and killed the guy that discovered him. Now, why would there be radiation inside a pyramid that's so old, I dare say a lot of it's been lost in time before that, but they were even actually properly excavated? Uh, I'd like to bring um, forth that perhaps these uh, are on landlines um, or, or as a beacon uh, to another planet. And um, let's not forget, Mars is surrounded by um, pyramids, especially around the face of Mars. Um, and look at Mars, it's red, it's, it's, uh, it's desolate. Uh, do we want that to happen to our planet? Well, would it be as simple as just getting rid of these monuments that have stopped that from happening? Because the beacon that they're permitting is so strong. For this one, I'd like to ask um, my ufologist mum uh, some of these questions. Um, how did they carve in such structures into stone that stayed there so long? How could it stay on sand without falling away? Well, nobody really has any idea. In fact, it's uh, quite peculiar. Uh, same with Stonehenge, same with other uh, pyramids in uh, the, uh, the Aztec uh, parts of the world. Um, the fact that uh, the, the pyramid's foundation is on sand and it hasn't uh, tilted is amazing. Uh, whether this is human technology or not, I would doubt. I don't see how we would have been able to build that. They're saying now yeah. that the pyramids are much older than we first realised. And that probably when they were built, that uh, the Egyptians themselves never used, they weren't built as tombs originally, they turned them into tombs themselves and then maybe copied. But the main worry here is there's a lot going on on this planet at the moment. There's a lot of uh, UFO ships sightings, happens, lo loads of UFO sightings, uh, lots of different things from the sun and the moon, and a lot now, of stuff uh, uh, going with David Icke's uh, theme. Uh, oh, definitely. Yes. Yes. Uh, now the uh, hieroglyphics that you find in the pyramids as well. Very interesting. They would have been done a lot longer after the pyramids were built. Uh, they tell a story, um, but it's the images. You've got half snake, half human, half animal, half hu uh, human. Um, it's why really would they pointing. be depicting uh, such uh, things as this and not themselves carrying stones of which the pyramids are meant to be building? But really as well, it is kind of depicting the reptilian race, which once again, David Icke has uh, kindly yeah, told let, us about. brought to everyone's attention. Now, we all thought he was crazy, but it does seem that uh, what he said in the 80s or 90s is coming to fruition. Now, if these ancient monuments, sites, are in any way, um, obviously they're aimed at certain stars in the sky, uh, the moon, the sun, um, but if they're in any way working against us and for the aliens, then really... We should think about destruction. Or discuss just destruction. Shutting them down. Yeah, take it apart for our put own it back safety. Yeah. Just shutting it down. S see what comes out the shadows. Yes, and see if we can get these reptilian race to stop being a parasite on our backs and bring the luminati out of the shadow into the light and watch them go straight back down to hell, which is where they belong. 
And God bless you all. Um, thank you for this edition of Phenomena. Um, I hope we've uh, enlightened you with a few uh, little facts there. And um, next episode again will be on Phenomena uh, all going on around the world at this uh, current time. And if you have any odd things going on in your skies anywhere, please ask. And love to uh, have some uh, questions and answers and feedback. Uh, God bless you all. Phenomena over and out. Keep your eyes on the skies.